Well, hello everyone. It's Mel from Melamori Nursery. Happy Friday, and I hope everybody's doing well. It is a late start for me doing videos today. My goodness, yeah. Um, today is two different themes, and I forgot completely about participating in it last week because it was brand new. And so the first theme is Casual Friday by Tammy at My Reborn Nursery. And the second is uh, Fun for Friday, which is hosted by Tam over at Thomason's Once Upon a Nursery. And this little guy is Lucas, and his middle name is James. He, of course, is the Levi Sculpt by Bonnie Brown. I love this little boy. I mean, I absolutely love this little boy. He is a dream to hold. And oh my goodness, like, I don't know. Every time I, oh, I, you know, every time I pick this one up, I think he's probably one of my favorites. Definitely one of my favorite sculpts. You know, it's, it's you know, it's, just the way he he curls up completely and is like absolutely beautiful as a newborn you know and he's a small newborn but my goodness like he just he's so cozy and cuddly and moves just absolutely beautifully absolutely beautifully he was done by Fantasy Baby, and um, I got him off Etsy, and they are no longer doing babies. So this little fella here is already wearing a long sleeve onesie with a bunch of animals on it. He's got lions and zebras and tigers and bears. Oh my, <laughs> it's like the Wizard of Oz all over again. Um, and so I'm going to change him out of that. Oh, look at that little pose. I mean, you know, it just, it just really brings me back, that little pose. You know, that's what I love about these dolls sometimes, is that they just, they can be posed so well. And he's got like blonde curly hair which I suppose I should like try to get his curls back a little bit today I don't normally fuss with them but um, I'm going to just put him in a sleeper he does have his elephant with him but I do have like I I brought out little Jake um, for the occasion and I also brought out a squirrel <laughs> because I love, I love all, like, I don't know. I am an animal lover. Like, I, I, I think I've told you all before and I swear, like, I speak pet better than people. And, um, I've never had problems with animals, um, and they just seem to understand me. I seem to understand them and their language and their, um, just the way they are. Um, many of you know that I, I have raccoons nearby. I have whiskers nearby. He comes to me at a call. I'll whistle for him. Uh, there's a bakery across the street. So whiskers is a rat. And most people don't like rats, uh, especially wild rats, because they carry germs and disease. Um, but they can be trained. And um, where there's one rat, there can be many rats, unless they are um, independent um, rats, uh, male independent rats. And uh, any animals uh, in the wild that have different markings or different colorings um, or that don't blend in like other um, animals tend to be um, very uh, ostracized by other 
um, animals in the same um, family. So wolves, for example, um, if a wolf is a dark colored wolf that doesn't blend into, say, you know, the uh, like trees and the shrubbage and maybe they're dark, they tend to be um, outcast. Um, this was a koala baby, zero to three, this uh, onesie I took off of him. So um, I, I do a lot of um, reading of animals because uh, I find them fascinating. I, I mean, I had that, you know, I had that book on cats, you know, everything you need to know about cats. I had that one. Uh, my oldest daughter was really into dogs, um, which coincidentally, he will be wearing a Carter's Child of Mine dog sleeper, which looks like this. Let's see if I can show you without it being on him. Um... And she could have told you every single one of these dogs. And my middle daughter is a dog groomer. So I thought that that would be kind of cool. And then I'm just going to put on a... Um, this is an Amazon Essentials preemie size um, onesie. And it's sleeveless. And... This came with Declan, so I'm hoping it'll fit him. Um, but yeah, like my oldest daughter, she wasn't really like much of a reader when she was a young girl. So I had this thing where um, I would do literally anything to get them to read. Because, you know, I mean, I've always been a reader, so I wanted to encourage my girls to read. So she wasn't really much of a reader. So I would, I would say to her, I don't care what you read, you know, and, and I, I would give them extra, like an extra half hour if they wanted to read or else their bedtime, you know, was at a certain time. So, um, I didn't care if they read comic books or I, I didn't really care what they read. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't, um, strict that way, but with her, uh, the minute she got into dogs, um, I would buy her those dog magazines and she would just like spend like her half hour at night reading those magazines. So she, um, my oldest dog or sorry, my oldest daughter, that's terrible, Mel. Um, my oldest daughter can identify with so many animals and she actually worked for a while in a, in a pet shelter. Um, but she she couldn't last long there. I mean, um, she, she, I mean, she would have taken them all home. Uh, that was her big thing. So, and, um, and for me, I mean, I grew up with dogs and then what's really interesting is that, um, as an adult, um, because of where I was living, we started with a guinea pig. That's how I introduced my kids to pets, was a guinea pig. And his name was Tidbit. And Tidbit lived seven years. And he passed away, sadly. And I cried. Yes, I did. Um, and... Um, after seven years, I mean, I had sign trained him as well, um, because I'd sign trained dogs instead of treat trained. And so guinea pigs are very trainable. And then we had, oh, I don't know, a variety of rodents. At one point, my daughter had found a mouse. So, uh, his name was Oliver and Oliver the mouse and um, let me tell you mice oh my goodness mice stink uh, and I grew up in an old house a really 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 old house and we had mice on the walls and so I remember being a kid and um, finding a nest of baby mice in uh, one of my drawers and wanting to keep them of course I didn't go over all too well 
And then um, moving forward, we ventured into cats. And we had a cat that was um, what I thought was a male cat um, because I, I don't like female cats uh, because they're very dominant. Uh, well, at least in my experience. So uh, I'm not saying I don't like them. I'm just saying that I find that the male cats are, um, you know, more docile, I guess is, I guess is the word. Oh, this really fits him nice. Looks good on him too. Um, so, uh, he was called Mustang and then we found out he was a she because <laughs> like, come on, I'm not getting too close to those, you know, to that, you know, I mean, how do you find out, right? You got to get pretty close. So, <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to put some conditioner in my hand here and rub it in his curls. Um, so then it was Mustang Sally, but Mustang Sally didn't last too long with us because the neighbors across the street had cut cat doors in like literally um, like they it wasn't like a professional cat door. They just cut these cat doors into their like um, their front and back doors. And so all the cats were kind of going into their home and God knows what they were feeding them. And so Mustang Sally would come back and she would turn her nose up and then get all kind of huffy with me. And then she started spraying. And even though she was fixed, they can still spray. And so I got so mad at one point, I just walked her across the street and told them they could keep her because I was so mad. Um, basically that um, they were, you know, taking over and whatnot and and feeding my cat essentially anything um they wanted to feed the cat um so and then i had my boys jack and jesse and i had them for nine years and they were born to a mother who um was less than a year old and um, I got them, I had planned on getting one. And I would gotten them because uh, a co-worker, and I was in the forces at the time, a co-worker had said that, um, I don't want to hide his cute little lips, but I just want to show you this soother, see if it'll fit. Oh, look how cute he is. A co-worker had said that he was going to put these cats in a backpack and take it to a rich part of town and just drop these cats off, which just absolutely drove me around the bend. So I went to take a look at the cats and found one that I really loved, a tabby. And I went to pick him up out of the cardboard box and this little black one with white paws and bits of white on his ears wrapped his paws around its neck. And when I lifted up the one, they both came up. Well, how do you separate them, right? So I couldn't. So the calico cat was Jesse and the black cat was Jack. And I love those cats with all my heart. And then uh, we thought Jesse had diabetes and we're treating him for diabetes. And it turned out that he had heart disease. And that's quite common apparently for mother cats who are not quite a year old when they have their first litter at such a young age. And um, within six months of his passing, um, his brother started showing the same symptoms. And so all being said and done, that was so devastating. I never really got another cat. Although I will say I have been a foster mother 
in a sense to some stray cats and you all have heard me talk about raccoons <laughs> and uh, maybe it's because I just love too much you know what I'm saying but my daughters keep telling me to get a dog they think I should get a dog and I would I would love to get a dog but I would love um, to get a dog where I have space for it to run around because where I live now I wouldn't feel safe um, in the space that that an animal would have so one day I will probably get a dog but that day is not this day anyway folks there is sweet little Lucas isn't he cute he is just so absolutely adorable I don't know about that bottle there but he's got little Jake with him he's a real little favorite of mine this little guy just adorable let me just hold him up again This sleeper is so cute on him. I love freeborns and and sleepers, and I have so many of them. And I don't know why I don't put them in it more often. But he is such a cutie pie. You know, real cutie pie. He just looks like he could be just swaddled and, you know laid about, curled up, little puppy behind him like that. Aww. He looks so real just laying there, doesn't he? Anyway, folks, I pray you have a happy and healthy Friday. Tomorrow is the cutoff at 3 p.m. for the contest. So I hope um, that you all have... Um, participated if you want to and I will see you next time. Have a blessed and beautiful day everyone. Bye for now.